Hi, this is Mike from Scale Trains again. We're here to talk about our Trinity 31K crude oil tank car. This model is a model of a relatively modern car, most of these being built within the last decade. Our rivet counter version that I'm showing you here has got some really nice details. We've got two different styles of truck frames, depending on the prototype. We've got a Barber S2 and an ASF ride control, both 110 ton trucks. We've got rotating bearing caps. We've got a lot of photo etched and wire form parts on this thing. So now that we've kind of talked about the overview of it, let's get down to the nuts and bolts and talk about the real details. Let's take a look at the B end of our Rivet Counter Trinity 31K tank car. Some of the outstanding details include the photo etched end walkway and the head shield with separately apl applied hazmat placard. Also note the razor sharp printing on the reporting marks and capacity data. On this end there is also wire form plumbing between the control valve and the air reservoir. The end frames are die cast metal for additional weight and strength. There's also a secondary air reservoir with its own plumbing as well. Most of these cars ride in 110 ton ASF ride control trucks, with the exception being the GATX half ladder version which rides on 110 ton Barber S2 trucks. While both trucks are very distinctive in appearance from each other, both share a high level of detail with visible foundry data, rotating bearing caps and separate brake beam detail. They also both use machine metal 36 inch wheels. Also note that the reporting mark and road number is printed on the truck side frames. Up on the top, the platforms are again photo etched metal so you can see through them. The handrails are wire form for strength and durability. The manway cover and bonnet housing are separate of parts with fine hinge detail. There's also anti-skid area painted on the tank body in and around all this detail. You will also see in this view the full length ladder that is common to all cars in this group, except again for the GATX half ladder version. This version has a half ladder that extends from the side of the car down past the anti-personnel rail. Above that ladder are grab irons that are used to gain access to the top flat platform. We are not entirely sure why this is the only car in the, with this particular feature, but we suspect that it was due to clearance issues either at the loading or own unloading facilities. Regardless, this is a unique and interesting feature on this particular version. Here on the A end of the car, you will see the Scaletrains.com die cast metal double shelf coupler, the wire form sided and grab irons. Also the separate coupler cut bar and train line hose can be seen here. This end, like the B end, also has the see-through photo etched walkway and die cast metal end frame. On the underbody brake detail, there are numerous separately applied etched metal wire form and plastic parts with all that detail being rendered very accurately. Now that we've shown you all the great details of this Trinity 31K crude oil tank car, we hope you'll run out and grab some. For more information, you can follow us on Facebook or check out our webpage at www.scaletrains.com. Thanks again for watching.